the development of the intra-African network is, is uh, what, what is the essence of our business. So flying to Mauritius um, was a, a, a long-lasting initiative. Um, it's a partnership between us and our Mauritius. So they fly three weekly, we fly four weekly. So it's a daily product. So every customer can go back and forth daily. Cape Town, we're already present because we're, f we're flying through um, Victoria Falls. Uh, so there, were, there was a stop and we're continuing. Now it's a, on top of this, we fly a, a direct flight to Cape Town. But of course, it's just the beginning of, of the development of the African network. Um, you know, f f we are an African carrier and the connectivity intra Africa is still um, at the medium level. W I think there is a much more opportunity of flying in between the cities of particularly Central and Southern Africa, which is the, su the so-called Sub-Saharan Africa, which is where is the heart of our network. Um, and I, I see in the next years quite a significant number of, of uh, opportunities to connect, uh, to connect uh, different points in Africa given the geographical size of the continent. It's really a big continent and flights are long. So uh, for airline it's just, you know, it's, a, it's, it's wonderful. You have long distances and, and people at, at uh, the two ends. Um, so that, that's the, the, the significance is that we really are going to strengthen and develop this, this network for, 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 for the years. It's just the two first that will be new coming soon. All right. Uh, and the U.S., uh, of course, there's a lot of uh, excitement uh, mm -hmm. towards October. Uh, but I want you to make a case, a uh, financial business case for this, sustainable business case for this direct uh, route between Kenya and the U.S. How does it look for KQ going forward? Because obviously there will be other people coming in. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, yeah, it's a, it's a very big risk for us. So I, uh, I know the excitement part. I, I lived it. Uh, on the first day of my work in Kenya Airways, everybody asked me, when are you launching, um, uh, when are we opening uh, New York? Uh, first meeting with pilots, when are we opening New York? So everybody has a, an agreement, like a collective agreement that we should be flying. Now moving this from excitement to business is a completely different uh, uh, effort. Uh, the business case exists because this is a non-stop flight. So uh, despite the fact that there is huge competition, we're going to offer really a unique product. You have to top it with the fact that today you have uh, 120,000 uh, U.S. Uh, customers, U.S. citizens originating from the, from the U.S. who already comes to Kenya through different routes uh, a year. So it's a market that, that exists. Um, you have about 50 companies, American companies, with headquarters in the U.S., most of them on the east coast of, of the United States, who uh, elect uh, Nairobi as, uh, as the headquarters at least for the, for the region. So there is a, a market which we do not build. This market exists. Now, having said that, the problem on uh, New York market, because for me it's a market in itself, is that it's so highly competitive that everybody goes there. Everybody fights for the same group of customers. And as far as I believe that we really have a very nice offer on the East African side, because when we fly people here, we can then fly them to you know, Uganda, Rwanda, Tanzania, um, uh, Mauritius that we mentioned, etc. On the US side, this is where the ca challenge comes uh, because, because customers in the US are ready to have so many offer and such a big price variety that we, we will have to chal challenge ourselves and be very efficient on, on that route. We have taken, I know, a controversial or at least uh, not natural decision of immediately flying a daily flight. And that's part of the business case. You know, when you want something, you go for it, yes? If you have a daily flight, then both customers from business side, but also from the premium leisure. So, you know, these are the people who are ready to pay $10,000 per couple of more for a few days of holidays. They rather are busy and they are expecting a product with flexibility. They want to come on a Monday, come back on a Wednesday, or fly on a Tuesday, come back on a Saturday. 
we are offering every day of the week a connection. So normally you, you ramp up, you know, you do four weekly, then five weekly, and then you go on a daily product. But we had this discussion internally, and that was quite a lot of uh, uh, challenging of ourselves. What do we do? And we decided we fight for it because of the excitement, because of the support, but also because we believe that this is a little of a breakthrough. Uh, KQ stops crying and complaining. We take the sword and the shield and we go fighting. That's how I would like to approach the, the US market. OK. And because you said it's a big risk, the question is, do you have the muscle to accompany the amount of risk that might come out of it? You, you know, when you have too much muscle, you don't, you don't uh, move too, free, too, too, too fast. We are just at the moment where we have to take a fight uh, uh, just, just to believe that we, uh, we can do it. Of course, there are risks, but I, I think that both the, the company and the environment and just the fact that you're asking me is just promoting this. So I'm, I'm absolutely confident, uh, but still very humble and a little scared, yes. Uh, I'll gladly see the 28th of October coming, but then it's not about the 28th, it's about the next months and the growth of this market. So yeah, no, we, we, are, we are determined but, uh, but scared.